Welcome to another video in the SAP S4 HANA Credit Management playlist. In SAP S4 HANA Credit Management, we have to use the credit segment and the credit controlling area. So what is the difference and the link between both of them? The first step in the configuration of credit management in SAP S4 HANA is to define one or multiple credit segments. Then we maintain the credit management details for every business partner or customer on the level of the credit segment. So the credit limit and the other fields that we need to perform the credit check are maintained on the level of a credit segment. Then we define the credit controlling areas and we assign every credit controlling area to one credit segment. So one credit segment can have multiple credit controlling areas assigned to it, but every credit controlling area can only be assigned to one credit segment. Then when we perform any sales transaction, SAP automatically determines the credit controlling area based on configuration. And this is a very dynamic configuration activity. So the credit controlling area can be different based on the sales organization, on the distribution channel, on the division. So this offers a lot of flexibility. Whenever we do a sales transaction, SAP automatically determines the credit controlling area based on configuration. And then it determines the credit segment from the link between the credit controlling area and the credit segment and then it finds the credit management details for the business partner or customer. So this is the complete link. The master data of the customer is maintained on the credit segment level, but most of the configuration activities are done on the credit controlling area level. And from my point of view, the use of a credit segment is very important in credit management because it offers mainly two very important functions. Number one, it offers a lot of flexibility in the determination of credit limit and the other credit management fields because we can have one credit segment assigned to one controlling area or we can have one credit segment assigned to multiple controlling areas. And this gives a lot of flexibility to cover the business requirements, for example, such as having a different credit limit for every sales organization or for every company code, or having one credit limit for multiple company codes or multiple sales organizations, and so on. And we will talk about this in more details in the future videos. The second benefit I find from the credit segment is the availability of a hierarchy. Whenever we activate credit management in SAP S4 HANA, SAP automatically creates a superior credit segment that's called the main credit segment, and it has the code four zeros. This is a standard credit segment that's created by default by SAP, and this one is a superior credit segment to the others that we create. And whenever we define a credit segment, we can decide whether the credit segment should be a subordinate to the main credit segment or should be a standalone credit segment. And this gives a lot of flexibility to cover scenarios such as having one credit limit for every credit segment, but then also having a superior credit limit for all the credit segments. And also I will talk about this specifically in more details in future videos. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you would like to get access to other videos and to the presentations, configuration materials and study notes, you can check the channel membership program. You can also check the rest of the playlist here the next video here or other interesting videos up there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.